Welcome to MVC for video series. This is the first video. In this video, we will try to create an application like this. Uh, pretty simple. <coughs> a list of data which I will be populating and we will we'll be looking at the details and all. Right. So first, understand what is MVC, what it does. <coughs> MVC is like there for like, you know, decades. People talk. Right. So it has a three open ends. Right. Controller, model and view. These are the three combines the MVC pattern. Okay, <coughs> three of them have a different roles and responsibility, and three of them are separated. All right, everybody does their job separately. <coughs> so I give in a real world scenario an example. Think you work for a very big corporate company. When you enter into the company, you see the hot receptionist, and then you go in and you sit next to your desk. Now think, today you got some courier. <coughs> which you don't know that you have got the courier. So the courier guy comes in and he approaches the receptionist. The receptionist is nothing but a controller and he tells you, okay, I like to m meet Mr. Jack, okay, and the receptionist locate your desk where exactly you are and she calls you up, okay, you have a package, please come outside. <coughs> you reach to the receptionist, you get the package, in return the receptionist tells you sign these papers because I need to deliver to the courier guy. Right, so you give your feedback in terms of a signature, the model, I'm sorry, the courier guy takes the feedback and updates into the database, okay, I have delivered the courier to this guy. So in real scenario, you are the view who is receiving a package and the model is a courier guy and the heart receptionist is a controller. So this is a totally isolated process. The model and view never saw each other. The data transfer was there, but it was pretty, I mean, <coughs> Uh, what can I say? Pretty successful, right? So uh, the controller has a responsibility to, you know, uh, manage things. The model is a courier guy who brings the data in and out and and to take the data, right? <coughs> and you is the guy. You are the end user. You rep you represent what you got into the courier. You open the courier and you see what you have, all right? And you show to your friends, okay, I got something. So anyways, let's build the application. I hope you got the idea what I'm trying to put over here. <coughs> so in order to do this thing, uh, as I said, we'll be creating a movie application, something like this. What I'll do is, I need to create two things. The first thing I call it as a controller. Second, I need to create as a model. If my these two things are ready, then Visual Studio will help me to generate a view by itself. So how can we do that? Let's first have a look at the controller. So what I'll do is I'll add a new controller and I'll call this controller as, as movie controller and I'll choose the default, right? So <coughs> as soon as I hit the default, so I have one method. These methods are generally called as actions in real technical terms. Now as I said, now this method has a responsibility to return the list of movies which I'm showing you right here, right? Okay. But as I said earlier, the movies which are going to be returned would be a strongly type, right? So for that I need a model. So what I'll do is, right now if you don't understand, just follow along. Now add a new class. In the end everything will fit into the pieces, right? So I'll call this guy as movie class. This is a DTO, generally what we said. And inside of this DTO, you got four properties. <coughs> Let me copy paste to save the time. So it's pretty simple DTO. It ha I'm sorry, a model. It has four properties: ID, name, directors, and rating. That's it. This is the model is ready, and the controller is ready. Now, it means I'm the courier guy. I'm ready with my data, and I'm the controller guy. Okay, I'm ready with what data needs to come. So let's populate the data. Okay, so. We are populating the data just again to save a time. I have done some copy paste work, so let's put it here, right? So you can see, right? What you can see is I got a method, doesn't matter. This method is kind of this method represents a data, right? This method represents the data that this method in the end gives me a collection of all the movies, right? <coughs> so this is a method. And this method is nothing, a courier guy who is holding your data. What is inside is this method knows. So what I'll do is, I'll copy this guy, I'll simply pass over here. So now, <coughs> what happens is when my index method gets called, it gets all the data, it gets all the movies, okay? 
and it gives it to a view okay so it gives it a view and view tries to render everything what it what is there right so let me open a solution explorer so now we have created m the model we have created c now it's about <coughs> view right so let's create a view so how do you create a view in mvc simply right click on your method say add view now you're trying to create a view what type of view you like to create you like to create a strongly type view right and what model do you choose a movie model which you created just and plus we get the benefits of a scaffold template you can choose a list because right now we are going to populate all the list of movies right and then i hit ok as soon as i hit ok the visual studio generates an html a razor syntax what can i say it generates something really cool for me using a reflection because it knows what are the type i am returning so you can see i am returning an i numerable collection of movies and html is pretty simple anyone can make out these are the headers and this is a model right so this model is nothing but like <coughs> the whole data which i'm getting from here right so don't worry in the debug i'll show you what i mean by that but once a model is filled using an item i can iterate to the collection and i can simply print the html right so this is pretty simple so what i like to do is first first i would like to give it a run right first we'll run and then we'll come back and we'll do more right <coughs> so let's have a look this guy is loading and it will take a long while because my machine literally sucks so please hang on by default it's going to load the home controller which i don't want and we are waiting and there it is now <coughs> as i said when the request come from the outside when the request come from the outside where i would like to go i would like to attack at the movie controller right so when the request comes out i'll say okay oh, i'm sorry i'll say i would like to go to movie controller okay and inside of movie controller i would like to call an index action well uh, you can say as a method right so index so as soon as I hit there, I get my view. Everything gets done for me. Everything, right? So it was it was like one click away, right? Now let's debug step by step what happened, what Visual Studio actually did. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. When I created a view, Visual Studio actually created a folder for me based on the name of a controller and it generated the index.cshtml file. Actually, I showed you the marker. I didn't show you the folder. It generates a folder for me. Thanks, Visual Studio. Right. So, <coughs> let's put a debug point onto the view controller. Right. So this is my debug point. Debug point here, and I would like to put a debug point if I can put here. Right. So I have my debug point at controller level and at my every level. What can say. So let's refresh this thing once again. So as soon as I hit the refresh, you can see it directly comes to an index. If you look at the pattern, the request came from the outside, right? So I'm at the controller. Now it calls the index method, and index ma method has a job to do, right? So I'm stepping in, all right? So I'll come in, I'll fill in all the movies, all right? And I'm just going out. As soon as I leave, it will call the layout dot layout, the master template, and we see some good things that's what it calls then it calls a view back then it creates some bullshit for me now the interesting part comes in now if you can see i'm sorry i forgot to mention this small guy model in here this is the actual model which holds you know the complete data but in order to access this whole data we need to use a word called as a model right this guy is kind of a collection this guy represents this guy and this guy is nothing but a collection of this whole bunch of movies and if you open a model and if you hover i hope you can see it you can see a straight away a forward collection of all the movies we just filled in a dummy manner right actually in controller what we did wa that was like we created a dummy uh, dummy you know dummy object dummy list and we return the same list coming over here we can see any of the index you can view it and the item will focus on the first guy so let's debug 
so as soon as I hit the item you can see in this item I get everything right and as I move forward I can see I have the data so everything is so cool right the things got sort out for me or like automatically I didn't I don't need to worry about anything right all the, the basically what I'm trying to say is like you create your controller you sub generate your methods simply write a logic in here write a logic in here and generate your view that's it right so now we have done for this now why don't we do something for let's say a details I'll say details right and anyways uh, the details will have a specific index I mean uh, when I'm looking at this page and I click details so I will see the details of this guy right so in return I'll, ex I'll expect an ID as an integer right and using a link here what I'll do is I already have a collection and what I'll do is I dot ID dot equals ID now this ID is nothing now this ID is nothing but this ID which I'm actually getting from the outside world right so let's build so actually you have created a second method now look at the magic now what we'll do is right now you see the index.cshtml file now let's create a view again right so I'll right click I'll say add a view and again uh, a lot of things are done for me details model class is already ready if, I, if it is not ready I have to choose myself and I'll choose details and I hit add and let the visual studio generate a few things for me which I require and something has happened so you can see for details the view is generated plus at the very same time you can see in the movie folder the detail file got generated so visual studio knows everything visual studio is like you know your mom visual studio knows what you're doing what you're goofing around right so forget everything forget the debug and let's run now you can clearly make out when in this URL when I'll instead of this I'll do something like do something like this details slash one or slash two what is going to happen is it will find the movie controller inside of which it will look for an action called as details and inside of which it will try to pass the parameter as two so you can see in the movie controller it will come here it will try to pass the parameter from the collection it will try to pick up the second movie is called as James Bond right so let's build okay and let's hit and enter so only thing I should able to see is James Bond it has to be James Bond because number two guy is James Bond right so let's wait I think it is going to take a while yeah my system is very oh it came pretty good so you can see like it worked now and the same thing which I did I can do it like you know in links which are configured for me Electra I can view something like this so it's like there configured for me like if I look at the URL so every time I hit the details the URL changes right so it's pretty cool oh, plus one more thing I would like to show you is like movie slash details and after details if I do something like this ID is equal to we'll call for Jason Bond this time one two three four five instead we call four knowing and when I hit OK I get knowing itself so the MVC handles everything so coolly if I go like this or if I use a query string it manages everything it knows like what comes in here like if I do uh, this thing I'll run again I'll show you right okay <coughs> come on let's do quick and easy so now if I come here okay and if I pass 3 over here and I'm in the debugging mode so as you can see the ID automatically comes 3 over here so how cool is that MVC takes care of everything right so I hope you got the idea like like how MVC works all we did is like we spent 10 minutes of time we created a controller we created two methods now like you know this is dummy right so in the next video what I'll do is I'll create a database and what we'll do is we'll not only get the list we'll not only get the details we'll do add edit delete and update everything so right you know every the whole picture would be clear but in the end I hope you got the idea when the request comes over here 
request come to the controller control is trying to identify which method is called in the url right which method is called in the url if that method has any parameter based on that the controller reacts and try to call the action method inside of an action method you have your processing logic you will be calling your services which in turn calling a repository from there you get some data and you try to populate a strongly typed data while adding a view so based on that it generates some awesome view which you can anyway manipulate anyway the way you please right so but the concept is pretty simple right model is like a container in which you fill the data from the outside using a service so model is ready the controller is the guy who identifies the incoming request and gets the model ready and just throws onto the view okay this model which contains some data so you you'd better take care of these things right so that's pretty simple i hope this video gives you an idea what i mean right so mvc is pretty cool anyways if you like my video then please give me a thumbs up to my video share my video with friends if you think this is cool or anyways if you know this thing subscribe me for youtube twitter and facebook add your comments and let me know your thoughts if you expert on something you can have your idea or you can add the improvement all right if you want to request some video i will try to make a video for you guys thank you for watching thanks a lot bye bye